we've been talking a lot in the last couple of months about women's wrestling and about where it is going in both the WWE and TNA. Now it seems there's a lot more of a tendency to employ good-looking models who maybe can't work as well as perhaps a Mickey James or a Melina, but then sometimes they find a balance. Now I'm not saying she's the best worker yet, but what better can you do than pick a second or even third generation daughter which is something we haven't seen much and that of course i am referring to lacey von eric now lacey von eric in tna the daughter of the texas tornado kerry von eric and what a little niche she's carved out for herself when she first arrived in tna or indeed before that in the likes of shimmer and some of the other independent federations i don't think really anybody had much to say about her in-ring skills but like uh, a lot of people have said, the look that Lacey has really is second to none. I personally feel that of all the women's wrestlers, you just cannot fault Lacey. She is head and shoulders above the rest, and I think one of the best looking. But to move on from that best looking point is what I hope to maybe do now. I mean, this week we've heard rumours about Lacey Von Eric possibly turning babyface. And of course, on the previous week's Impact last Thursday... We saw Lacey running off to the bathroom and she took some imagery of Wolf and Chelsea. Now she brought that back to Hogan and that was an interesting little storyline device. But when Hogan arrived here, I actually felt like Lacey was going to be his valet. I mean, Chelsea kind of got that role in some ways with Flair. But what do you think Lacey can do going forward in TNA, maybe as a babyface? Yeah, I think her in-ring skills have gotten better. She was definitely a pretty uh, botchy and uh, very slow on, on calling spots when you watch her kind of early matches. Definitely a lot of messy stuff going on there. But she's, yeah, I mean, to get over the fact that she looks absolutely amazing. Um a baby face turn for her might not be... It depends who they put her with. If they pair up with Hogan, if Hogan is to be baby face, or would have you believe he is at least, uh, that might be a good thing. Um, uh, and just you know, get her back on the mic. She's good on the mic and less in-ring stuff. Uh, not so much a Chrissy Hammy role, but you know, a lot of TV time with her as uh, some sort of business associate of Hogan and... Uh, Maybe uh, a little, um, uh, maybe a, a personal assistant to Hogan or something. Just something that would be uh, fun for her and would make good TV. But I don't think she'd really get over as a baby face because she does that heel gimmick so well. And uh, the beautiful people being a prime example of uh, that being perfect. And I think it gets them over, it gets her over um, big time. And uh, something about her even being a heel well, I think when it comes to people watching makes it more um, believable and I suppose makes her uh, more attractive really and I think both of those things combined equals ratings really at the end of the day yeah I got a bit worried for Lacey when I saw that they gave her some opportunities in the ring and maybe she didn't do the best it was early days and I think they kind of stepped back a little bit and they started kind of giving her that role of standing in the corner while the beautiful people worked away. But I think it's kind of a situation now where if they want to do some sort of babyface angle, then they're really going to have to start getting her in the ring. She's going to need to do something. But as we know, the likes of Maurice, who has excellent ring psychology, Maybe doesn't do too much in the ring. She hasn't had problems on keeping on top. So Lacey could do that. But with Hogan, of course, she was with him on the Australia tour. And she would come out with him, in fact. So it is a natural role for her. And actually, to be honest with you, if I was Hogan's girlfriend, I'd be, uh, you know, questioning about what could happen there. We know Hogan and the blonde girls... That's a situation that happens quite often. But Lacey Von Erich has got a 
legacy. I mean, the Von Eriks really are probably one of the most respected uh, families in US wrestling. We know that in Texas they dominated, and that wasn't the only territory, but just to know that she comes from that long lineage it just gives her everything and I can just imagine that maybe a little while ago Lacey probably sitting there probably with nothing to do with the business suddenly got a phone call and I'm sure some bright spark somewhere realized that her name was Von Eric. yeah and um, I think you're right about the whole Hogan thing I got a, a little bit of the fear when I saw them in the same backstage segment this week I, it did cross my mind that Hogan I was looking at his facial expressions for uh, for that one but um be interesting to see where it goes and uh you know maybe she's working him who knows uh or maybe um something else could be going on but either way i think uh baby face lacy wouldn't be a good thing and uh, having her on tv is great and having her around is great because uh she is quite nice to look at i have to say and uh probably one of the nicest um female wrestlers of recent times i can I can probably honestly say. Mm, I mean, she really is. She is probably better looking than some of the women in popular entertainment. I mean, I would honestly rank her above the Angelina Jolie's. I'm not just working. I'm really telling the absolute truth. I can't think of a woman that's better looking than her. i got to be fair. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people are talking about that. But you got to wonder... Uh, how much Lacey remembers of her time in the early days when maybe her father was still around. Uh, probably not too much, but, you know, having the Von Erich name on television is, again, something that wrestling fans are going to be very appreciative of. And, uh, you know, Lacey, top girl, I think, just get her in the ring, start training her up a bit more, and I'm sure you could get those skills out of her. you got to wonder what Kerry Von Erich would be thinking now if he is indeed looking down on her. I'm sure very proud. And, of course, you know, Fritz, would he be thinking, should she be in this business? I mean, we know Fritz of course, brought his sons into the business and, you know, not many of them, well, one of them survived and you got to wonder if they would approve of having Lacey in the business, especially with a work like Hogan around. Yeah, I think they'll be proud of her and that she's carried the torch and the name of the Von Eriks and uh, brought it back into the mainstream shows. Um, I can see her... Uh, really considering if it was on the table at WWE stint. I really do. I think she's not in it for the wrestling side of things and uh, she certainly has the look that Vince would go for and uh, she could be huge business for WWE if they got their hands on her. And uh, we all know Vince uh, has a good taste when it comes to picking and choosing divas over the years and uh, from Sonny to Sable and right the way around to uh, <coughs> your Tory Wilsons and whatnot, but it'll be interesting to see if she sticks it out in TNA and and uh, what's next for Lacey.